show you how to get to the test net, how to get the RPC settings set up in your MetaMask and get to the staking platform for validators, how to use the faucet and so forth. So the first thing you want to do is go to the gitlab.com forward slash pulse chain com. And this is the screen that you're going to get. Uh, right down here at the bottom, so you have the faucet here, uh, you have the block scout, uh, the compressed allocations, we don't know what, if those are accurate yet, so we're not going to mess with that. So first things first, you go to the pulse chain uh, test net and scroll down and there are some instructions on how to get into the test net. So it says this is a test net, issues may arise in the network for certain front ends. Uh, see increased load. The team will work diligently to address issues. Uh, number two, the state of this network can be reset on occasion, so nothing should be considered as permanent after the fork. Um, so moving on down to the settings. So here are the Pulse Chain Testnet version two settings uh, that you're going to need to put into uh, MetaMask. So here is a screenshot uh, of that procedure of those uh, windows there. And we'll go right in here uh, and I'll show you how to uh, do that yourself. So I already have the test net here, but we're going to go right into here's the same window that you saw there. And here are the settings. You're going to want to type these in just like this Pulse Chain Test Net. HTTPS forward slash RPC dot V2 dot test net dot pulse chain dot com and so forth. Follow all of these settings that are here and they go in here. Okay, so once you have that saved, you will get a line item of networks that says pulse chain test net. Okay, and here I've got uh, a little bit of TPLS. I've opened up a couple of accounts here. This one I have about three quarter of one. Uh, I did get a uh, test pulse from the faucet yesterday, so I don't know if I'll be able to get it again, um, but we will give it a shot. So this is the testnet faucet, faucet.v2.testnet.pulsechain.com and you simply hit the request button and it says that I have six hours and 15 minutes left before I can get another one. Okay, so let's just assume that I got that one here. It would say 1.75 now, okay? So if you want to play with this, you can hit send, transfer between my accounts. I'll send some up to uh, account one and I'll send 0.25, hit next. And we're going, estimated gas fee is 0 0.000021 TPLS. Okay, we'll hit confirm. And as you'll see, this will take about five to 10 seconds and this will be um, a completed transaction here. So in the meantime, if you go to stake.v2.testnet.pulsechain.com, it, okay, it's going to connect your wallet. I've connected my wallet here. And if you slide to the right, there's a little icon here. If you click on one of these icons, it asks how much you want to stake. So this is the validator's address, how many misdemeanors, how many felonies, they are in rotation, and this particular validator is going to share 50% of all the uh, transaction rewards. Okay, so I'm going to, you can add and remove here. I've tried to remove, but it won't let me I do believe there's a 24 hour wait period on uh, removing a stake that's been entered. So we'll go to add stake and we're just going to go 
We're going to add 0 0.0005 more to this particular validator that I've already gotten a 0 0.0005 in there. Uh, so again, here we go, an estimated gas fee of 0 0.000051 TPLS to start this stake. And I'll hit confirm. And right here where it says 0 0.0008 in about 10 seconds or so, uh, it's going to say it completed right here. And this will turn into a 13. I'll go back here to this uh, MetaMask. As you can see, the 25.25 was removed from account two. And it's now sitting in my account one. Okay. Back to here. Okay, this is completed. I now have a 0 0.0013 stake in the number two validator here. This is basically the staking interface is how you will delegate your pulse to validators. Okay, so I've got all three, I've got a little bit spread out across these guys, just testing out here. Okay, uh, you can go to the block explorer, which is scan.v2.testnet.pulsechain.com, and this is averaging three second block times. There's a total of 4,113 transactions so far. We've ran 13,331,000 blocks and there's 105,000 wallet addresses uh, within the Block Scout Explorer here. And as you can see, every three seconds, a new block is um, flying by. You can, you can uh, do your transactions. Uh, this is all transactions here. Uh, if you wanna see your specific transaction, you would go here to activity. Let's go back to wallet two that has the activity. So here's the stake that I just added uh, to validator number two. Click on that guy. It shows you all your gas fees, everything you've done with that transaction. Click on this little arrow to the top and here's your transaction for that specific uh, stake or mine, I should say. Um, but this is that stake, um, transaction ID, everything that we derived right from the MetaMask account. Uh, let's see, we got Pulse Chain Validators. We've looked at the Block Scout. We found the faucet. And we can see how to find our transactions. So this is the simplest form of how we're going to be using the V2 at this time as end users using MetaMask. Uh, you can just send funds back and forth and try it out. And um, yeah, let's see if we can break this thing and uh, cause some problems. And if not, that's great. Um, we will be moving forward with mainnet sooner than later. So hopefully this helps guys out. If you don't know how to use the test net, this is how you use the test net. All right, enjoy guys. Have fun.